And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zhong Yuan. I am a PhD student uh, of Department of Computing at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And my supervisor is Professor Guo Song. It's my pleasure to introduce our work, Poison Attack on Federated Knowledge Graph Embedding. This is a joint work in collaboration with HKUST and Xidian University. A knowledge graph is a semantic graph with structural information. Uh, it describes the real world entities and uh, their uh, relationship. Knowledge graph embedding maps KG components into a unified embedding space, supporting diverse applications like link uh, prediction and uh, relation extraction. An emerging research area is federated knowledge graph embedding. It leverages federated learning principles alongside multi source KGs to collaboratively improve KG embeddings. It usually has multiple clients that hold different KGs and uh, one server that aggregates their embedding. However, the open collaboration among potential self-interested parties in FL may introduce new security risks to FKGE. A research gap is poison attacks in FKGE, which lead to biased decision by downstream application. For example, a medicine company bribes a server uh, to manipulate a victim client into predicting an outcome. Tom is allergic to aspirin, which will uh, result in the doctor uh, prescribing uh, penicillin to Tom. So the attacker's goal is to add a fake relation into the victim's model. And before you know, introduce our method, I will give you some preliminaries. A knowledge graph has three sets, an entity set, a relation set, and a triple set. A triple is a fundamental unit of a knowledge graph, where H is a head entity, T is uh, a tail entity, and R is their relationship. In KG embedding process, the input of the KGE model is a triple, and the output is the triple's embedding. The trainer uses the uh, embeddings and a scoring function to calculate a loss and use the loss to update the KGE model. For example, if the KGE model is trans E, the scoring function is um, minus the norm of H plus R uh, minus T, and the uh, optimized ob uh, objective is to minimize the scores of all triples in the training data set. Uh, in an FKGE system, the server collects entity embedding updates from all clients uh, in each round, perform aggregations on these entity embeddings, and returns the global embeddings uh, to clients. In uh, each round, uh, each client sends its uh, entity embeddings to the server. Uh, and in FKG, the server or any clients can be an attacker, and the malicious server and the clients can uh, collude. The attacker's knowledge uh, includes the uh, entire entity set and uh, uh, embeddings, and uh, uh, it can also access to a public auxiliary data set and train a shadow model on the data set. To add a fake relation into the victim client's local uh, KG model, two challenges need to be addressed. The first is unknown uh, KG components. In FKG, only the entity embeddings are sent to the server, making it difficult for the attacker to know the relation set of the victim. And the second is the non aggregatable relation embeddings. In FKG, only the entity uh, embeddings are uh, aggregated, make it difficult for the attacker to change the relation embeddings of the victim. Uh, for the approach, I first introduced the server initiate poison attack. Uh, it has four steps. The first step is relation inference. The malicious server infers the real relation of the victim by uh, clustering its potential relation embedding. What is a potential relation embedding? For example, if the KG model is trans E, the potential relation embedding between entities H and T uh, is uh, the norm of H's embedding minus T's embedding. And a previous work uh, has proven that real uh, relations tend to exhibit great concentration within the uh, embedding space. The second step is the poison data generation. The malicious server chooses two unrelated entities from the victim's entity set, generates a poison triple, and uh, adds it into an auxiliary data set. In step three, the malicious server Build a shadow model that is a KGE model trained on the auxiliary data set. Its uh, optimized objective is to minimize the scores of all triples in the auxiliary data set. 
The fourth step is uh, embedding aggregation. After the shadow model training, uh, the Malaysia server sent the uh, output of the shadow model to the aggregator and uh, return the poison aggregated result to the victim client. It is then dynamically uh, optimized the shadow model during each round of FKG training by calculating the victim client's model score of the poison triple. Uh, its uh, optimized objective uh, is to minimize the score of uh, poison triple on both the shadow model and the uh, victim client's KG model. And if a client is uh, an attacker, uh, there might be some difference. Uh, first, in step one, the malicious client cannot uh, directly infer the real relation of the victim. Uh, it needs to collude with the uh, server to get the entity set of the victim client. And in step two to four, the malicious client use uh, its local KG model to uh, replace the shadow model. Uh, we explored two potential defense mechanisms. The first is a, a differential privacy based method. The victim client can add uh, controlled noise to the data or model parameters to prevent uh, relation inference attack. Uh, and the second is a new paradigm called decentralized knowledge graph embedding. We use blockchain instead of the centralized server to make the entire training process of KGE verifiable. Uh, you can see some details in our paper. Uh, we impl uh, implement uh, a prototype of our poison attacks based on FedE, a well-known uh, FKG framework. We test the performance on four data sets and four KGE models. Uh, and the metrics we use include MRR and HSN. Uh, our experimental results include four parts, uh, attack success rate, clean performance, attack robustness, and uh, defense evaluation. First, we test the attack success rate uh, when a server is an attacker or a, a client is an attacker. Table 2 shows the attacker performance of server-initiated poison attack. From this table, uh, we can see that the MRR and HIT-10 uh, are zero on the uh, clean uh, model and uh, become very high on the uh, poison model. And on the WN uh, data set, uh, our, di uh, our uh, dynamic poison attack can achieve 100% uh, attack success rate. Uh, and uh, uh, when a client is an attacker, the MRR and HIT-10 are uh, also become very high on the poisoned model. Uh, for the attack stealthiness, we test the clean performance on the clean model and uh, the poisoned models. The clean performance means the prediction of the KG model for the targeted victim client on the original link prediction task. Uh, from figures uh, three and four, we can see that the clean performance on the clean model and the poisoned models are uh, the same. So our system has a good attack stealthiness. Uh, we also test the uh, uh, effectiveness of the attackers, uh, attacks under different settings. Uh, figure 5 shows the attacker performance and, uh, is reduced with the number of clients uh, increases, uh, which means our system uh, has a better attack robustness on the number of clients. Uh, to solve this problem, we design an uh, optimized method, uh, and you can see more details in our paper. Uh, figure six shows the attacker performance are stable um, of different number of poison triples, um, which means our system has a good attack robustness on the number of poison triples. Uh, we finally test the <coughs> defense, <coughs> test the attacker performance after defense. Uh, table uh, five shows the attacker performance after we adopting the DP-based defense. From this table, we can see that the MR and the hit turn um, are reduced uh, after we uh, adap uh, adapting the DP-based defense, but they are still very high. Uh, and for the blockchain-based uh, defense, the poison attack has been uh, mitigated, but the convergence uh, speed of the system is significantly reduced. Uh, well, uh, in summary, we conduct the first uh, holistic study for the poison attack on FKG and uh, propose two attack uh, schemes from both client and uh, uh, server perspective. Uh, second, we formulate the proposed attack as a new KGE optimization problem and solve it by generating progressive poison updates. Finally, we evaluate the effectiveness of our attack method and explore the potential countermeasures. Uh, for the future work, 
uh, we first plan to give a, a concrete implementation of the DKG. Uh, we might use some uh, cryptographic technologies like zero knowledge proof and uh, uh, privacy set uh, intersection. Uh, second, we plan to design a reputation system in FKG or DKG, which includes some uh, punishment and uh, incentive mechanism. Uh, finally, we plan to uh, design an uh, uh, efficient DKG. Okay, so uh, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening. And if you have uh, any question, please feel free to talk about it with me. Thank you. Thank you, Nguyen. Uh, questions? Okay, thank you for your talk. I got one question here in your federated setting. So you share only in the entity embeddings, right? Not relation embeddings. So what is the use case in practice for such a setting? Because for knowledge inquiry, what I understood, if you only share the entity embedding without the relation embedding, you can't infer many things. You can only mirror the similarity between entities, right? It's quite limited from my biased point of view. Uh, well, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, some existing work uh, use, um, uh, use this uh, framework uh, that uh, the server only uh, aggregates the uh, entity embeddings in the FKG training. Um, uh, I think the uh, goal um, to use this method is that uh, they think um, uh, they think share the uh, share both the uh, entity embedding and the relation embedding um, will uh, leak the privacy of the client. So they only use the entity embeddings uh, and. Um, uh, uh, and in the uh, uh, and uh, when they test the um, performance uh, on these uh, settings, uh, uh, the experimental result uh, shows that uh, the uh, KGE model's uh, performance uh, on some uh, downstream uh, application like the uh, uh, downstream application like the uh, linked prediction tasks uh, shows that. Uh, Although uh, the server only uh, aggregates the entity embedding update, uh, the, uh, uh, the accuracy of the, this task uh, can also achieve a uh, can, can also achieve a high performance uh, on the uh, uh, on the triple uh, prediction task. So it also works uh, uh, when they only uh, aggregate the entity embedding. Uh, 